I'm Jimmy Hendrick, and this episode is called The Blessings of Adversity on Empower Your Pattern 2.0. Hi, I'm Jimmy Hendrick, member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, success, confidence, and thrive coach, and founder of James Hendrick Empowerment. I'm here to show you that there are, there are success patterns to help you receive more, to help you live a better and extraordinary life. And so, also to help you with the spiritual and temporal tips to help you overcome the adversities of everyday life. So if you're ready, I will take you to receive these success patterns. Let's go. Good morning. Thank you. You may be seated. Today I want to talk to you about the blessings of adversity. And I have eight of them in mind. I'm sure that there's more. And some of you are like, we've been gone through two years of adversity through COVID. Long time on listen to me carefully. These will help you whenever you're hitting adversity. Number one, adversity can be like a good teacher. More like a good principal. Okay? In the summers of 1988, 1989, and 1990, I went to the Texas School for the Blind. In the summer of 1989, we got a new principal. And for sake of anonymity, I'm going to call him Mr. K. All right? Now, one day... Uh, relatively early in the summer term, Mr. K calls me um, out of the cafeteria line. He said, I have a few things to say to you. I was like, oh boy, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Mr. K says, you happen to be one of the most well-mannered boys that I have here in the secondary school. He said, some, some of the others, I have to remind them to take their hats off. In the caps here in the main buildings. I have to remind them not to spit in the main buildings. He said, you're different. Stay different. Let me tell you something. That, that meant a lot to me. And the fact that, that the, the following summer, the summer of 1990, when I was getting myself into mischief, he believed in me and gave me a chance to redeem myself. So see, adversity can be a great teacher. Number two, adversity can teach you to believe in yourself. Now some of you, you're not clapping, and I know that you're not clapping, you're like, what? Adversity can teach me to believe in myself? The number one rule of empower your pattern is this. Love and believe in yourself. Adversity is, is the testing grounds to force you to have discipline and determination so that you can believe in yourself. Number three. Adversity can point you to Christ. Yeah, I know, huh? I'll give you quite a story. Yeah, thank you guys. I'll give you quite a story about how I came to this conclusion. I was a very sickly child. And in and out of the hospital off and on for 11 years of my life. And scared. And so... Ultimately, by the time I was 11, I was becoming sensitive to the realities of, you know, my health and other factors. And that pointed the way to me beginning December 1981 to begin my personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And then, my second one was 
the, the adversity of my divorce that led me to have a covenant relationship with Jesus Christ. You see, those things, those things can be amazing. You need to have that decent chance to let adversity point you to Christ. May not make any sense to you now. I'm not sure it is at times when I was going through those adversities that it made sense to me then. But you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it to talk about it. Adversity can point the way to Christ. Non-negotiable. You think about that. Christ helps you. D during the adversity, Christ helps you. He sustains you during that time. During that time of adversity, God's love and Christ's love sustains and protects you and strengthens you. And you need, sometimes you need a little adversity. To bring you back to Christ, because it can be easy to stray in these days. The way this reactive culture is. So that's why it's important that you use your adversity. If you're if you're a good Christian, maybe you're back and you want to come back to faith. Let the adversity that you're going through push you. To return to Christ and repent and find happiness. Number four, adversity can develop and motivate you, can even turn you into being the motivator. Now, I know, okay, that sounds kind of far fetched to some of you. I understand that. And so, to that extent, to that extent, I stand strong in what I believe. I stand strong in my faith. It, it makes it makes you a better motivator. Makes you strong. Makes you determined. We're disciplined determination. I talk about those a lot in my book. You know. For details on that, you can look on my WordPress site, which is uh, in the front show notes of the podcast itself. Now, here's the thing. Adversity, if you use it right, can help you motivate to, to, to do the better. Or, or else, what are you going to do? Sit there, oh, uh, sit at home. Chill, watch Netflix, whatever series they got on now. <laughs> I'm the boss cut my house, dang it. When instead, instead, yeah, there we go. Instead, you could say, okay, so my boss cut my hours. You know what? It, it's time for me to start working on stepping into my dream. It's time for me to find other income streams. Not necessarily a job. Yeah, you didn't think I'd bring up success principles here, but that's one of the blessings of adversity. Number five. Adversity can bring you experience. And I know that sounds like a platitude, but in many ways it's true. I think about that nine-month depression I went through in 1997. But I'll tell you something. It was it was crippling. It was hard. But once I came out of that, once I came out of that, I was sharp as a tack. I was more alert. I generally, in some ways, knew what I wanted out of life. But, you know, because of crazy you know, as, you know my reactive friends at the time didn't really know how to enact it but that's that's a that's a cool thing 
The cool thing is this. The cool thing is this, guys. It can give you experience. Force you to grow. Help you get out of your comfort zone. You know, it, it really will. It really will do that. The experience is for your good. To strengthen you. To help you. To help you find happiness. Joy and peace. You guys are looking for that. Look, I didn't choose the topic of adversity to do a series on. It keeps choosing me. Number six. Number six. Adversity is a refiner's fire that turns you into gold. Which one of you would like to be a success gold diamond? <laughs> Woo -hoo, huh? Yeah, each of us would like to. But if we don't, we just, and, and don't let the adversity refine us, we're just accepting cubic car, zirconium. CZ, what is CZ? It's a fake diamond. It's a fake. It's a fake. Let me tell you something. The past two years I, two years I have been through the refiner's fire. I've had friends and family move. Lots of changes. And at first I was sitting around complaining, not knowing not knowing which to do and, and everything. And so I was like, Jimmy, let this turn you into gold. Let this grow you, shape you, mold you into what God's called you to do be and have. Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you desire? I know you do. I know you do. Guys, I have been through the refiner's fire with adversity. And I know it's tough. It's tough, but it turns you into gold. It gives you a chance to ramp up. All these blessings are built together, and you need to see that. You need to see that. Get beyond the CZ. Number seven. Adversity gives you a fork in the road where you can change. And I gotta say, I've had that fork in the road. And let me tell you something. It ain't easy. It ain't easy having that fork in the road. But you know what? It's causing me to come out of my comfort zone. Be the person that I've been called to be in. No ifs, ands, or buts. No excuses. Time to take it to where it needs to be. You understand? Guys, these past two years have led us to a fork in the road to where we've had a change, yes or yes. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Adversity that causes changes, it sometimes, most times, it sometimes it's no fun, it's painful, it hurts. But how long are you going to sit there and cry and moan and limp because of all these changes and I'm so unhappy? When you could get up and do something about it. Oh, cry and whimper. Oh, cry and whimper. No, guys, come on. Rise above this. <laughs>